Hi everybody, it's Joanne from Joanne Ralston Art. How you doing? Um, today I am using a 16 inch round and I want to make one of those big four petal flower blooms that people are making. And the colors that I'm using, um, this one, is blue violet it's a prism pour this one is sour lemon and this one is african violet so i'm kind of going towards the blue end then i've got pebio studios iridescent precious gold i love this gold not more than 24 karat but it comes in second um, and I may put in a little bit, let me see if I can remember. This is Deco Art Enchanted Blue, and it's an iridescent type, so it's got a little bit of a blue shade, but I thought I'd just put it in for a little pizzazz, so I need to leave that open, don't I? And find a stick. So that's what we're going to do. So let me bring you down to the canvas. Thank you. Right, the base that I have is Artist Loft. And I haven't hmm, checked it. It's consistency. That's okay. So this time I'm going out of my comfort zone and I am just going to do a puddle in the middle. So, that's what most people do, but I was always very uncomfortable doing it that way. But we're gonna try it. All right, I'm gonna put my blue on the bottom. Hopefully, boy, it's still thick. I have put so much water in this, it's ridiculous. And I put a lot of blue down. Oh, I want to put the yellow between the two. Because they're just kind of similar. And then we're going to put the purple. I'm really anxious. My red one turned out so beautiful. Now this is the iridescent. I'm just going to kind of drizzle it all over the place. Because I'm going for a blue bloom. And then this is, oh, look at the bubbles that came to the top. This is the Pebio Studio Iridescent Gold. And that's what I want in the center of my bloom. I think that's enough. So here we go. This is going to be noisy. Oh. I'm 
going to have to do what I did the last time. I'm going to have to. All right, I want more of an indentation. So what I did, rather than taking a stick, I just take my spatula and push it back. This one I'm really disappointed in. It got all messed up. I'm gonna need some white paint. See, I did it different than what I'm used to doing. And it comes out different, of course. I should have brought that petal out further. Because the paint is starting to roll over itself. So, please learn by my mistakes. That's what I want you to do. That's what these videos are for. Oh, and the music in the background, that is Epic Sound Soundscapes. I just got it, and I'm trying it out, see what, but I got the soundscapes, and I, I really, I really like it. All right, I need some light right here to play with. So I can make this all into a petal. You just kind of be work it till you get what you want. I'm going to get some of that paint out and move some of this paint in. And then I'm gonna do the same thing with this one. I'm gonna push it in. Work that blue so it is in somewhat of a design, or I can scrape it, or just kind of mix it and cover it up. Oh, there we go. like the colors it gave me what I was looking for okay I don't want this going off the petals going off the edge and if they do go off the edge we have a way to fix it See what I can do here. Let's go this way. I am liking this technique. It really makes some beautiful flowers. Okay, this one's starting to go off 
and the others are right where I want them. So I want to stop. Now I'm going to play finger. See if my finger will widen that. like what it did here but we can change that but I do like what it did there but it needs just a tad Try the same thing here. I'm trying to do it ever so lightly. Riscadonna is super awesome. And so is Molly at putting in their finger and making a lovely line. I have never had this much trouble with a bloom. I used to, if I did this and I didn't like it, I scraped it. But I have since learned, and you will too, if you're, if you're not already doing it, you will learn how to fix things. Now see, even where I put my finger through, it's coming back together. So let's see how this dries. And we'll go from there. But all in all, I mean, the colors are beautiful. I love how they mix together. And we'll just have to wait till dry results. I'll have to watch my blow dryer a little closer next time. Everybody, thank you for being here. Appreciate it. We'll see you. Bye-bye. See you at dry results. Almost forgot to say that. Bye-bye. Well, hello, ladies and gentlemen. Here we are for dry results. Now, I have got to say, I am not disappointed. I was going for the Rinskadana Bloom, and I guess I just got too much paint, and I blew it the wrong way, so I got water petals. And if you remember, I had trouble keeping the lines to separate the petals. But the way it turned out, I am not disappointed. And if you look, it just glistens. So let me take you around it real quick in a close up so you can see the colors. And I'm trying to remember how I mixed that base paint because I like how it worked with the other paints. It didn't get that grainy look. It stayed nice and pretty just like it was one of the other colors. So I'm going to have to rethink that one. And if I can remember, I will share it. <laughs> It is beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. It just, it kind of looks like you're looking down at the earth. And you 
you're seeing mountains and waterways and roadways and the green, the, the you know, kind of like you're looking at islands or something, but it's really cool. Well, thank you. I hope you enjoyed the video. And I hope I see you next video. And everybody have a great day. I love you. Bye-bye.